Hello peeps and welcome back to the Age of Engineering. Alright, I did discover something off camera between episodes. This has stopped running. Which means that it only persists for as long as I am logged into the world after I load a dimension for the first time. Well, for the first time on a particular load. So, if I were to come over here and let's say... Let's grab the Energetic Ocean. We'll toss the Energetic Ocean in there and let that start charging. If I were to come over here now and dial this to the Energetic Ocean, and then pop in here, and then just immediately go home. I should, in theory, be able to take this thing off, stop using power on it, and it should continue to work even when the power runs out. Well, actually, it's not even loaded at the moment, is it? Because there's nothing going on. Oh yeah, it's draining. So, I don't know what was going on last time. Maybe I have to unload and reload it every time? Regardless, it's not that big a deal. I felt kind of cheat anyway. So, this episode, I'm going to take care of a problem. And I know I said I was going to try and do the solar thing, but we've got a bigger issue we got to take care of first. That being this. I'm starting to run very low on UU Matter. And I need tons of these capacitors. So we need to get my UU Matter production back online. I'm going to do that by means of using one of these. Now this thing probably does not need to be here. Probably doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up another one. Well, maybe I'll just build it right off of this. I don't know. Possibilities. Yeah, right now I'm only pulling about one ten or I'm only pulling about twenty percent up to thirty percent of the actual power demand of this thing. And I can easily expand this thing. So let's just do it right off of here. Is there anything in here? No, I can take that apart. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need a shit ton of transformer upgrades. Because we're going to need to hook our recyclers back up too. We want six recyclers. Uh, we're going to need... Let's see, these things are power tier one. We're going to need four for each. So we're actually going to teach my ME system how to make these transformer upgrades. Which means we need to teach it how to make MV transformers. It should already know how to make a basic machine casing. Well, transformer upgrade. We'll need to teach it this too. Well, actually, I can just feed it these cables. I can just feed it a shit ton of those. And I'll need to make... Oh, I've got plenty of this. I'll just... Yeah, I'll, I'll just make a shit ton of that copper cable. And we wait for it to catch up. Come on, catch up. There we go. That ought to be more than enough. Uh, it's actually working on making a lot more. There we go. So I will need some more of the gold cable. Let's come over here. And pop this in extruding to get some of my gold cable going. Now over here, I am making 
an absolute shit ton of dense iron plates to go along with my shit ton of plutonium that I have over here. And I'm running out of power at the moment because I've got two high power demand things going. And I just added a third. But what we're going to want to do... Oh, shush. I should be able to take these recyclers all the way up to tier 5. And if not, I can certainly take them to tier 4. Which an EV transformer... Outputs 2048 at the low end which is high voltage. So that should be tier four. I'll hook one recycler up with tier four. Actually, you know what? Let's just do that now. Let's test this before I go any more nuts with this. So if I were to take a recycler and put the recycler right there and put tier one, Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4. And connect this. Are you going to blow up? You are not going to blow up. Good. That's exactly what I wanted to see. We'll break all that out. Pop that in there. And let's get my wrench. It's not where I want that. This was just proof of concept. Okay, so I can increase these easily to tier 4. And I'm going to need a total of 18 transformer upgrades to do that. So I'll actually probably not need that many of these. I might just craft a few. Made some more iron plates off camera. So I'll just craft a crap ton of basic machine casings. And we'll just make like 10 more, I think. We'll just go ahead and craft a shit ton of this gold cable. And I should have plenty of the electronic circuits. I'm out of glass, though. Wow. Did I think? Uh, oh. Payday. Yay for payday. Okay, so let's pop some sand in here. Get this making a shit ton of glass. I'm always out of something. I really should just set up automatic production. Okay, there's a bunch of glass. And there's 10 more of those. Good. Let's come over here and set up this thing exactly how I want it, which is going to be power along the bottom. I'm not going to connect the power quite yet. We're going to do power along the bottom. We'll do the recyclers over here. Like that. Each one of these needs three. And we'll need to put some uh, speed upgrades in them too, overclockers. And we'll also need our matter fabricator. This thing is already tier 3, 
but I'm still going to give it three transformer upgrades. There's no reason not to give this thing plenty of transformer upgrades. This should now allow me to connect power and not have an explosion. Good. We're also producing UU matter stupid fast for only pulling that much power. We've already produced most of the U, uh, most of the millibucket. Now we've got one millibucket of UU matter already. So good. Next, we're going to need one of those. Uh, what the hell were they that I was using down there? Crafters, right? Yeah. We will grab. Oh, what the hell? Uh, content 23 stacks. I think this was my... No, that was my melon seeds. Let's just pull all the crafters out and take a look at them one by one. So I find the right one. Eight stacks, that was my cobblestone. Uh, there's my scrap boxes. So we'll put the rest of them away. Break that up, and we'll pop this right here. Now, can I make this thing automatically output? I don't believe I can. So we'll need to actually leave a space so I can do that. One item conduit. And what we're going to do is we're going to do like this. And that actually should work for what I'm going to do. Uh, we need my cobblestone generators. I have 14 of them. I should only need six. We we'll want to have one for each recycler. No. Come back here. There. This thing, we're going to want to make this remember the current items, because I don't want cobblestone getting in here. Uh, we're also going to need to hook this up to power, so we'll need my crystal binder. What am I currently bound to? Okay. We'll link that. It's now getting power, and what we're going to do is we are going to pull on green from these. Here we are going to in out, insert on green, extract on brown. And I'll come back through and set that in a minute. Here we're going to do ins out, inserting on brown, extracting on blue, always active. Here we're going to insert on blue. And I should have ghost image as a scrap, I do, good. So here, we'll start switching these to always active. There we go. Now we are pulling all of the scrap out of there to put into here. And 
and we're actually producing UU matter fairly fast now. I'm going to want more of these fluid tanks, I think, because I'm going to want to start storing away some of this stuff, because I want to make a dimension of this stuff, and I think it takes 128 buckets worth, which means I'll need quite a few of these tanks. Internal capacity here isn't great. Okay, now we need overclockers. Got 13 from there. Should be able to get some from the canning machine. I think I want 24 total. That'll give me four for each one. Uh, I'm going to want more than that. <laughs> I'm actually running these things out of power. Um, energy storage upgrades? Will that help? If I remember right, the energy storage upgrades help by creating the buffer. So let's make a few more of them. Uh, these are easy to make, so I just need two batteries. To create two of these. Really? can't use my whole wood? Are you kidding me? Uh, well then, that's a problem. I legit have to have oak. Or a cashew or something. What the frick? Okay, whatever. Just come over here and punch a tree. Well, not punch a tree. Yeah, how long has it been since I've used this axe? Too long. There. Happy? Yeah, now you're happy. Okay. Uh, this is actually good. Because it gives me a chance to show you guys this. I don't think I ever showed you guys this. This is a gas spawner. Right now it's currently turned off. But yeah, anytime I need gas tiers, I just come out here and I turn this on. And kill a few gas. And Yeah, it's it does the job I need it to do. It's not great, but it works. Can't complain. Okay. So, here we're currently using all of our available power. So I want to start increasing the power going into this thing. It has occurred to me that I might want to put one more transformer upgrade in each one of these stupid things. Except for this. That should be plenty. Because I'm not entirely sure when I increase the power here, if I'm not going to have a problem. So let's play it safe and make... Really? Let's play it safe and make two more. We'll give each one of these one more upgrade. This will bring them all the way up to tier 5. They should be able to handle insane voltage now, and I'm just putting extreme voltage into them. So, we shouldn't have any explosive problems. 
How are we doing for scrap box production? We're not. Uh, we need more. We need more of everything. Okay, so we're going to start by making some more vibrant turbines. This is going to require a shit ton of these. So let's just go ahead and make some of these subcomponents right now. Oh. Power upgrades. There. That should keep things stable. Alright. So. Turbine blades. Actually, let's break down some vibrant. So that I have plenty to work with. Gonna make two stacks of these. So that I can make a full stack of these. Make a shit ton of these. Make a shit ton of these. And. I'm going to need my hazmat gear. So I'm about to be messing around plutonium. I do have one plutonium block in here, right? Yes, good. So I'm going to move all of my plutonium into my ME system. I'm going to grab bunch of these dense iron plates that I've been making. Put those in my ME system. That's going to allow me to make a shit ton of RTG pellets. 63 of them. A lot of them. That's going to let me make a shit ton of these turbines. 64 of these turbines, to be exact. Only 50 can actually go into one of these machines. Okay, I do not currently have anything radioactive on me, right? No, good. I need to start carrying my suit with me again. Now that I'm messing around with this stuff again. Okay, so if we take a look here, I've currently got 20 in here. Up to 50 can go into a single multi-block. This one is already capped. Well, it just means I'm going to have to make another multi-block, doesn't it? For right now, we're going to expand the hell out of this. We're going to hope, as I do this, that we don't hear a boom. Because if we hear a boom, that means that at that point, it wasn't able to take the power I was putting into it anymore. Look how fast that thing is running, even just without scrap. Using 17 millibuckets a tick of fuel, so I'm down to 2.7 million millibuckets. I'm definitely going to want to start going to the ethanol dimension, start pumping some of that in. But, overall, not too bad. Let's come in here and raid some of my other machines for overclockers. Yeah, I don't need any of those. This will take me up to seven on each machine. This will take me up to eight on each machine. Which should be damn near instant. And 
And with the energy upgrades, I should not have problems with power supply. Nope, we look like we're doing pretty good. This thing is not keeping up. Not at all. I may actually want more recyclers on here. I could easily support a few more recyclers, but that's going to require me to make more of all of the upgrades, so I might do that off camera, just to get this thing back up to the point that it's running constantly. But hey, we're already producing a decent amount of UU matter. Let's rake this tank and set about getting a couple of bigger tanks. What are my tank options? Um, I could use the pressurized fluid tanks. These hold 32 buckets and they are not, they don't lose their fluids when you break them. Uh, the mechanism tanks I believe also don't lose their fluids when you break them, but the maximum capacity is 112. The, the void, or the Neotech tanks, they do lose their inventory when you break them. Quantum tanks are too expensive. The multi-block tanks I don't trust. So I think we're going to go with the pressurized fluid tanks. Oh, well. Easy enough. Okay, each one of these should hold 32. So all four of these together should hold 128. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this one to push. Set this one to push. Set this one to push. And set this one to push. We'll run a fluid conduit. And I'll just use pressurize for this. I don't need ender for this one. So it's never going to be moving that much fluid. Of course, I'm going to need two of them. No. There. You extract, always active, you insert. And we're now getting UU matter back in here. We are burning it faster than we're using it currently, but that's okay. I'm not that concerned about it at the moment. Pop all this way and clear glass. That is going to be another thing that I'm going to need. Not quite clear glass, just clear glass. Enriched sand, which is sand and nether quartz. Okay. I'm going to grab eight stacks of that because that's something that I was running low on when I tried to do something earlier. So we'll just pop all of this in here. Okay, now I'm going to get to work on the solar thing. I should have close to what I need for the solar thing. Matter of fact, I already have one part of it somewhere around here. Oh, that's right. I put it in here. Because if we take a look at the solar controllers, this solar controller takes two of the tier one. It also takes four diamantine. Remember that this one took four lapis and four blocks of gold. So by the time we get to here, we're using eight blocks of gold, eight uh, lapis, and now we're using two diamond. Here, we're using 16, 16, and eight. Here, we're using 32, 32, and 16. Well, I don't feel like making 
that much diamond. I have enough lapis, but I don't feel like doing it. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to... And I actually wonder if I can just export circuits into this. I'm sure there's got to be a way, but we'll mess with that in a bit. I'm actually just going to duplicate this thing. And that'll get me the ones that I need to make the tier 2. Then after I make the tier 2, I'll duplicate that. That'll give me the ones I need for the tier 3. After I make the tier 3, I'll duplicate that. Or maybe I'll just make two of the tier 3, because the tier 3 just takes stabilized ender pearls, mica, and solar panel tier 2, and I'll have two of the solar panel tier 2s. These aren't hard. Matter of fact, I can be making those now. Then the tier 4 is that. So, I think we're good. There. We've got four of the tier 1 solars. Let's use that to make one of the tier 2 solars. Oh, I didn't get my diamantine. I did empower some diamantine, I just didn't get it. That gives me one of the tier 2s. Pop that in. Grab seven more stable circuits. Oh, tell me this thing won't duplicate that. That's going to suck. Or does it have to be completely fully charged before it'll... I don't know. I'm kind of hoping it's got to be fully charged. Okay, yeah, it just has to be fully charged. Alright. That's going to give me the ability to make the Tier 3. And I'll just make two of the Tier 3s and make one of the Tier 4s. I don't need those. Uh, where is my digital guide? Do I have it in here? No. So, as soon as this is done, pretty close. There we go. Tier 3. One, two of you. Tier 4, I just need a solar cell, which I taught my system how to make. Tier 4, get. First thing I'm going to do is duplicate the damn thing. Now, the Tier 4. requires 40 structure block tier 4s. It also requires 81 of those solar cells. So, let's get 81 of these solar cells. Uh, missing 115 of these photovoltaics. So let's teach the system how to make the photovoltaics. There we go. Let's try it again. No. 81, please. Start. Okay, it's slowed down a lot because it's having to craft photovoltaics now. Okay. Okay. 
Crafting glowstone. Crafting dual layers. We done? We're done. Good. This gives me the ability to make four of these damn things. Now I'm only gonna be able to make one for the moment. Um, let's see. What do I need to put this thing together? The assembler. We're also gonna need 40 structure blocks and we're gonna need eight of the modifier cores. Which is blocks of aluminum and electrical steel. Blocks of aluminum are not anywhere even approaching a problem. Now, the modifier cores can be used to make modifiers. The problem with this, let's get out of here. The problem with this is that the modifiers that you can make, speed modifier, doesn't work on generators. Piezo modifier, works with solar panels, emit vibration, uh, vibration from rain. Well, it doesn't rain in my world, except for a couple of seconds at a time. Accuracy modifier, doesn't do anything. Saturation modifier, who cares? Jump boost modifier, who cares? Haste, resistance, night vision. Strength, water breathing, regen. Fire resistance, flight, who cares about any of that? So basically, I just need the blank modifiers. We don't have my solars yet? Yes. Let's do the tier 4 blocks. We need 40 of these. Uh, I'm actually just missing a little bit of Restonia. So. Mow. There we go. Restonia get. Forty of you. We'll grab my eighty one solar cells. And as soon as we get you, we're going to put you together. There we go. Uh, we are going to need. A draconic energy crystal. We're also going to want a relay. I already had an IO, but whatever. Yeah, that is an output and output, and this is an input. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach another input to the back of here. And let's see, you need to be in IO mode output. Out back, say right about here. Uh, I need the rest of my solars. I can grab them all. That should do it. If I remember right, this solar panel builds up. So we'll pop that down. We'll grab my assembler and There we go. Should be about done. Solar cell. We got everything we need. I don't think we quite have everything we need. Uh, let's dig down underneath. Do I have anything left in my inventory? Modifier cores. Am I standing in the way? Is this in the way? How about this? Something's in the way. So I'm just going to hollow out under here.
That way I know for sure nothing's gonna be in the way. That'll do it. Multi-block assembly is complete. Draconic energy crystal there. You're going to be set to input mode. Get my crystal. Thank you. Place you, say right there. Link you, capture you, link you. And we have just increased our energy input by 50,000 RF attack. Basically for free. How's that for nice? 51,000 RF attack. Almost 52,000 RF attack. For free. This consumes nothing. Unlike this, which is consuming shit tons of ethanol. How are we doing here? 1,404? Eh, we could be doing better. Could be doing worse. Uh, where is my ethanol dimension? This thing only costs 2,000 RF a tick to run. Yeah, we'll just plug that in. And I'm going to go into the other dimension with another, uh, another ender tank and set it up onto here to pump into this quantum tank so I can start producing shit tons of this and I won't need any of this setup anymore. This setup is now obsolete. That solar panel out there will keep that dimension running even if this thing is shut off for whatever reason. Because this is only producing 25,000 RF tick. We have a shit ton of power. You know what? I'm going to build more of those. I'm going to build a lot more of those. Obviously not right now, because they're expensive, but I'm going to build at least three more, because I've got the three controllers, why wouldn't I? That I might do off camera, though. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Night Dagger with Age of Engineering. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I'll catch you later, peeps.